हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू नाउ टू डे स्टार्ट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द कॉर्डेट्स नाउ ऑलरेडी वी हैव स्टडी द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द नॉन कॉर्डेट्स बिकॉज द एनिमल किंगडम कैन क्लासिफाइड इन टू देर आर द टू ग्रुप्स वन इज नॉन कॉर्डेट एंड सेकेंड वन इज द कॉर्डेट्स नाउ द नॉन कॉर्डेट ऑलरेडी स्टडी इन बी सी पार्ट वन सेमिस्टर फर्स्ट which having there are the 10 phylum from protozoa up to the hemichordates but in second year semester third we have studied the classification of the chordates now the first question before starting the classification of the chordate what is the difference between the non chordate and the chordate what is the difference between non chordate and chordate now the difference between the non chordate and the chordate is in non chordate the notochord is absent but in chordate the notochord is present it means in non chordate the vertebral column or the backbone is absent but in the chordate animal the vertebral column or the backbone is present and this one is the specific character on this specific character these animals are classified into the non chordate and the chordates non chordate and the chordates therefore in non chordate you have already study there are the 10 phylum from protozoa up to the hemichordates now today start that one is the chordates chordates what is the meaning of the chordates chordata chordata means that is the notochord means that the notochord is present in the body of that animal and that one is known as the chordata now what are the peculiar character of the chordates the number first one in this chordate animal there is the presence of several number of the paired gill slits are present means the gills are present for the respiration fair gill slits are present in this animal that is the first character second one is the nor cord is present that is the nor cord is present and third one is the presence of the notochords now these are the presence of the gill slits so notochord and the nor cord are present in that animal that animals which are included in chordates included in chordates therefore this chordate can divides into there are the two groups one is the protochordates and on other hand that one is the vertebrata the protochordates is also known as the acraniata and this vertebrata is known as the craniata that is known as the craniata proto proto means first chordates means that animals finally firstly found the notochord in the body of that animals but actually in the protochords this notochord is present but this protochord do not present in the entire body of that animals only in the half body of that animal the notochord is present but in some animals this notochord only present in larval stage but in adult stage this notochord can be disappear therefore it is known as the protochordate but it is also known as the acraniata acraniata a means absence craniata means that is the brain box means in this animal the brain box is completely absent the skull is completely absent the brain is completely exposed in the head regions exposed in head region only covering by the skin means the brain box is completely absent now this protochordate can divides into there are the three sub phylum into three sub phylum the first one is cephalochordata then second second one is urochordata 
and third one is the hemichordata. Now, what are the peculiar kind of the uh, protochordates? The all these almost all protochordates are the aquatic animals, and almost all animals are the marine animal which are found in the sea water or the salt water, and it can divides into there are the three sub phylum. One is cephalochordata, second one is the urochordata, and third one is the hemichordata. The first one is the cephalochordates. Cephalochordate. Cephalo means that is the cephalic region, that is the anterior region, that is the head region, and only in this anterior region or the cephalic region or the head region there is the presence of the notochord. It means only in the half body of the animal there is the presence of the notochord. Therefore, it is known as the cephalochordates. Therefore, it is known as the cephalochordates. Example of the cephalochordate is the ampioxus. Now, this ampioxus is one of the best example of the cephalochordates, which is the small in size, ill-like animal. Ill-like animals means. The animal is broad in center and tapering toward the both end. Means the shape of this animal, which is similar to that of the small earthworm. That is the peritema. That is the small earthworm. And it is totally aquatic animal. It is totally aquatic animal. And example is the ampioxus. Second one is the urochordate. Euro means that is the tail regions. Euro means that is the tail regions. Now this urochordata is also one of the marine animals of phylum. Example of the urochordate is that one is known as Hardmania. That is known as the Hardmania. Now this Hardmania is the soft body animals. It is the globular body of animals. It is a slightly greenish in color, and it is totally marine animal, marine aquatic animal found in the sea water. Now, in this adult Hardmania animal, the notochord is completely absent. Notochord is completely absent, but in larval stage of the notochord. There is a presence of the notochord. There is a presence of the notochord. Therefore, it is also known as the protochordates, and that one is the urochordate. Now, in the larval stage of the uh, animals, there is a presence of the notochord in the tail region or the an uh, anal region. Therefore, it is known as the urochordate. And example is the Hardmania. It is one of the best. Beautiful animals, globular, large size animals, and it is a soft body animal, and it is the marine animal. The third one is the hemichordates. Now, actually, this one is the hemichordate, which is already studied in the non-chordate phylum at ten position, at ten position, but. Due to the confusion of that, some scientists and some character which is similar to that of the chordates, therefore it also include in the phylum chordata as a sub phylum of chordate, and that is known as the hemichordate. The example of the hemichordate is Balanoglossus. It is the Balanoglossus. It is one of the best, uh, best. Uh, 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 it is the best and important example of the balanoglossus. It is also one of the marine animals, aquatic animal, marine animal found in the sea water. It is the small in size, ill-like animal. It is the small earthworm-like animals. And this animal, or in this animal, also there is a presence of the notochord. Only in the half region of the body of animal, therefore it is known as the hemichordates. Now, in this way, the phylum chordata can divides into there are the 
two groups the first group is the protocordate that is also known as the acraniata and this protocordate or the acraniata can divides into the other three subphylum the first one is cephalocordata second one the urocordata and third one is hemicordata the third one is the hemicordata third one is hemicordata now on other hand the cordate can divides into the vertebrata means the cordate can divides into two group first one is the protocordate which is already explained and the another one is vertebrata or that vertebrata is known as craniata now it is known as the vertebrata why it is called as the vertebrata because in that animal there is a presence of the paired gill slits there is a presence of the notochord there is a presence of the nerve cord but in this vertebrate animal this notochord can be convert or replaced by the vertebral column replaced by the vertebral column or that is a backbone therefore it is known as the verte vertebra or the vertebrates because in that animal there is a presence of the vertebral column or the backbone is present therefore it is known as the vertebrata now it is also known as the craniata it is also known as the craniata because in that animal the crani cranium is present means that is the brain box is present the skull is present and inside the skull the brain can be completely enclosed inside the brain box inside the brain box therefore it is known as the craniata therefore it is known as the craniata therefore it is known as the craniata now this one is the vertebrata or that one is the craniata why it is called as the vertebrata because the vertebral column can be present means the notochord is replaced by the vertebral column or the backbone why it is the craniata the brain is completely enclosed inside the brain box I mean the brain box is present jaws and uh, appendages are present therefore it is known as the craniata now this vertebrata again divides into there are the two division we can show in the diagram that is the vertebrata can divides into there are the two division the one is agnatha and second one is the ganthostomata agnatha and second one is the ganthostomata agnatha a a means absence gnatha means jaws that is the opening a means absent gnatha means that is the jaws or opening means in that animal jaws and appendages are completely absent jaws and appendages are completely absent therefore it is known as the agnatha and this agnatha can divides into the class and that one is known as the cyclostomata that is known as the cyclostomata means in this uh, cyclostomata there is absence of the jaws there is absence of the jaw there is absence of the legs appendages are absent and the jaws are completely absent there is a presence of a suctorial mouth there is a presence of the suctorial mouth for to take the food water or any substance but the upper jaw and the lower jaws are completely absent the another division of the vertebrata is ganthostomata ganthomes that is the jaws jaws are present means upper jaw and the lower jaws are present also that is the paired appendages are also present in the ganthostomata that is the also present in the ganthostomata now this ganthostomata bears the jaws upper jaw and lower jaws and appendages are also present now this ganthostomata can divides into the super class there are the two super class one is the pisces p i s c e s pisces 
and another one is known as the tetrapoda another one is known as the tetrapoda now the first one is the pisces actually this pisces is one of the series in this series all most all type of the fishes can be included almost all type of the fishes can be included therefore the peculiar character of the pisces is the all type of the fishes which are the aquatic in this fishes the respiration can be done with the help of the gills in this fishes there is a presence of the paired and the uh, unpaired fins in this fishes there is a presence of the heart which having there are the only two chamber heart there is a presence of only two chamber heart and this one is the fishes and that pisces can divide into there are the four different classes there are the divide into there are the four classes and another one is the super class of the ganthostomata and that one is known as the tetrapoda that one is known as the tetrapoda tetrapoda means tetra means that is the four poda means that is the legs means two pair of the limbs are present means in this animal there is a presence of the brain box is present there is a presence of the jaws are present the upper jaws and the lower jaws are present and there are the two pair of the limbs are present that one is known as the tetrapoda that is known as the tetrapoda and this tetrapoda are again divided into there are the four classes one is amphibia second one is the reptiles third one is the eos and last one is the mammals last one is the mammals now therefore this tetrapoda super class can be evolved from the pisces therefore the pisces is, is the ancestor of the tetrapoda the pisces is the ancestor of the tetrapods the first one is the amphibia now first class is the amphibia the meaning of the amphibia amphibia amp means both b a means liu means that animals which are liu inside the water also outside the water that animal is known as the amphibians that animal is known as the amphibians example is the frog is one of the best example of the amphibian that is the frog there are the several example but it is one of the uh, best example of the frog that is the bufo is one of the example of the frog that is the bufo hyla flying frog these are the several example of the amphibians now the meaning of the amphibia amp means both b a means liu means that animal which are liu inside the water or outside the water that one is known as the amphibians that one is known as the amphibians what are the peculiar character of the amphibians the amphibian animal which can live on side the water inside the water or on the land therefore it is the aquatic animals as well as the terrestrial animal live also on the land that is the terrestrial type also live inside the water that is the aquatic animal now in this animal there is a presence of the gills in larval stage and it can be disappear in the adult condition after the metamorphosis also in this uh, animal there is a presence of the well developed pair of the lungs which can use for the respiration also in this frog animal the body is completely covered by the skin and that skin also take part in the respiration mean larval stage of the amphibians or the frog we can be respired with the help of the gills and the respiration can be done with the help of the gills that type of the respiration is known as the branchial respiration that is known as the branchial respiration now in adult the gills are disappear and develop the lungs and that lungs which also take part in the respiration therefore the frog we can take the respiration through the lung that type of the respiration is known as the pulmonary respiration that is known as pulmonary respiration 
means the respiration can be done with the help of the lungs that type of the respiration is known as the pulmonary respiration now the entire body of this animals we can covered by the skin the skin of that animal which is the thick sturdy and moist and the slimy slimy moist at every time therefore the skin of the frog animal which also take part in the respiration suppose the frog we can take the respiration with the help of the skin that type of the respiration is known as the cutaneous respiration that type of the respiration is known as the cutaneous respiration now this one is the amphibian or the frog animals which is the evolved animal as compared to the fish in the fish that is the paired fins are present that is the pectoral fins and the pelvic fins are present for the locomotions from one place to the another place but in this uh, frog animals or the amphibian animals at larval stage there is a presence of the paired and unpaired fins but that fins we can modify it into the four limbs and the hand limbs four limbs and the hand limb for the locomotion therefore it is the evolved animals the evolution can be done in that animals as compared to the pisces in pisces the heart is the two chamber but in frog animals the heart is the three chamber one is the auricle there are the two are the auricle and one is the ventricle and in this way in different body organs the evolution can be done evolution can be done and this is about the amphibians now this amphibian can evolve into the next class and that one is known as the reptilia that one is known as the reptilia or reptiles now the reptiles most of the reptiles are the aquatic animals some are the terrestrial animals some are the arboreal animals means it can live inside the water some are reptiles some reptiles we can live on the lands and some reptiles animals we can live on the plants arboreal animals now as compared to the amphibians in this uh, reptile animals the evolution can be done the gills are completely absent the gills are completely absent now in this animal well developed a pair of lungs are developed and that lungs of lungs of animals we can use for the respiration use for the respiration but the heart of that animal which is also evolved as compared to the amphibians in amphibian the heart is completely three chamber one is ventricle and there are two or auricle that is left auricle and right auricle but in reptiles animals also the heart is three chamber that is the two auricle and one ventricle but this ventricle which is partially divides into left and right ventricles left and right ventricles also the appendages are well developed and the appendages are well developed for the locomotion climbing on the trees also simultaneously the other any uh, organs which also develop in that animals in amphibians it is the oviparous animals the animals we can lay the eggs but in this reptile animals some reptiles animals are the oviparous and some are the viviparous some are the viviparous we know about all this type of the snakes are included in reptiles calotis all these are the serpentary animals jodi asel they can include in the reptiles but some are the viviparous that animals we can lay the eggs and some are oh, sorry oviparous that animals we can lay the eggs and some are the viviparous that animals can lay the young ones directly 
and from this reptile we can develop or evolve there are the two branch one goes to the uh, class aeus and another one is the mammals another one is the mammals the class the reptiles can divides into one branch that is the aeus and another one is the mammals therefore in primitive aeus which are the aquatic some are the terrestrial and most of the birds are the aerial in this animals the lungs are well developed for the respirations the elementary canal is the straight tube from start from mouth to the anus and the heart of that animals which is the completely four chamber and as compared to the heart of the amphibia it is a three chamber reptile ventricle is partially divides but in this aeus animal the heart is completely four chamber there are the two or auricle that is the left auricle and the right auricle and that one is the left ventricle and the right ventricle and that is the major difference major evolution can be done in the aeus animals also in this animal there is a presence of the legs but the four limbs which are modified into the wings and that wings we can use for the fly in the sky use in the flying in the sky now the mouth which is present in the form of the beak the mouth is present in the form of the beak and in this way the birds are the oviparous animals is the oviparous animals it can lay the egg, eggs lay the eggs but the another branch of the reptiles can divides into the another class and that one is known as the mammals that one is known as the mammal we know about the mammals what is the meaning of the mammals mammals means the mammy are present in the body of that animal that is known as the mammals that is known as the mammals means the mammary glands are present in the in that animal that animals we can include in the class and mammals it is a evolved class as compared to the amphibia reptiles and the aeus entire body of that animals we can covered by the skin and that skin provide the hairs that skin provide the hair these are the most important and common character of the class mammal means presence of mammary gland entire body of that animals can covered by the skin and the skin can provide the hairs these are the peculiar character of the class mammal in this mammals the well developed pair of the lungs are present for the respiration therefore totally pulmonary respiration can be done in the mammals totally pulmonary respiration can be done in the mammals a pair of the kidneys are present for the excretions the sexual dimorphism is well developed the animals are the unisexual male and female and female animals are separated in male animals that is the male gonads are present in female animals female gonads are present and most of the animals are the viviparous only the few animals are the oviparous but most of the animals are the viviparous most of the animals are the viviparous and in this mammals the mammary glands are present which are well developed in the female as compared to the male animals now in mammals the heart is completely four chamber and it is a completely evolved heart as compared to the am am amphibians pisces amphibian reptiles and that one is the aeus therefore there are the two are the auricles and two are the ventricles but the difference between now in the aeus uh, also there are the four chamber heart is present in mammals also there are the four chambers are present but the difference between the aortic arch which is present from left side of the heart in the birds 
in mammals the aortic artery can arise from the right side of the heart of the mammals only that is the difference between the heart of mammal and the eos and in this way 